just, I don't know how I can show it. I bring it over here. It's over here now. This is where I thought it would be the whole time. So um, this one has three Dreadhorde Arcanist, three Lavinia, three DAC, uh, one Lightning Bolt in the main, two Swords of Plowshares in the main. Those are the big ones. Um, and then another two Swords of Plowshares in the board. Uh, we do kind of have to be worried maybe about Containment Priest out of the board for things like Greenstone Zenith. So things to keep in mind. Um, let's, 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 let's go. Um. Yeah, this hand's fine. Maybe that our once maybe our once upon a time will find a cavern. Um, I think we want to cast it on turn one in case it finds a elvish spirit guide. Does that make sense? Maybe we want to cast it on their turn at the end of turn to play around negation. Do they have a negation in their deck? They might not have a negation. Oh, they do have a negation in their deck. Uh, yeah, we're a Knight of the Reliquary deck, so we do have a main deck, Bajuka Bog. This is true. All right, I think that's what the play... Well, I could get a Death Ray Shaman. All right, I'm going to cast Once Upon a Time on my turn. That's cheating, Aaron. That's cheating. It's too dangerous to do that on stream. All right, so... I can either take the Horizon Canopy... To give us a draw later on or the night. I think the night is so bad. Let's just take the horizon canopy. Uh and I'm gonna play this windswept heath. Maybe we'll play the canopy next turn. Maybe we don't. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. I don't want to use this canopy until I have uh, this blog until I have a good thing to hit. Uh I assume opponent is just gonna go island um preordain, which makes sense. And then we're gonna jam Athalia and hope it doesn't get dazed. We really can't afford to get dazed, but we don't have a choice. So that's not a good draw. Not a good draw. Uh, I do think I'll take the one life and, and play this canopy out just to conserve information. I guess it'll be two life down the line. Life total really doesn't matter in this matchup. Daze? Uh, Force of Will is fine. I'm okay with Force of Will. Daze is the problem, though. I, I, that card, man. All right, so what do we got? Lavinia, Dreadhorde, Dreadhorde. Fair, 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 fair. Uh, so if opponent doesn't have a Daze or they don't have a Force of Will, ooh, wow, we can play around Daze. Okay, sick. All right, so I'm going to jam this Prelate on one. If this Prelate on one resolves, none of our creatures die this game. This is, this is actually sick. This is actually completely sick. Oh, I... Yeah, just resolved. All right, prelate on one. Hello. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's so good for us, chat. This card is quite good in this matchup. So opponent can't flashback preordain. They can't cast swords to plowshares. They can't do any of that stuff. Um, we're in great shape now. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is once upon a Am I gonna once upon a time into Thalia or am I going to Thalia and crack a horizon canopy. Mm, I kind of like Thalia crack horizon canopy. All right, we're in good shape here. We're in good shape. Um, opponent is definitely constricted by this prelate. They do have spells they can cast, but um, none, none of them are quite good. The only spell that really, really matters is... Monastery Mentor. So opponent is going to dig as hard as they can to find a Monastery Mentor. However, they can't cast one drop preordains to get there, which makes it fairly challenging. Uh, shit. Well, so opponent fa found a Monastery Mentor. Uh, I hate this game so much. Uh, yes. All right. Okay. Oh, I didn't crack the Horizon Canopy. Well, I'm just tilted, clearly. Clearly tilted. All right, so I'm going to Bajuka Bog them so they can't flash back a Preordain to trigger their Monastery Mentor. Uh, I can't attack in yet, so I kind of have to, like, cut them off on lands or some shit. I don't really know. Uh, I'm really tilted now. This is like the only card left in their deck that matters after opponent doesn't have a Teferi or an Oko. 
This is like the only card that was left in their deck that mattered. Like the, the actual single only card left that mattered. Yeah, that's not good for the home team. This card is so broken. I don't have removal. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. I guess I should have responded to the... I guess it wouldn't have mattered. I'm just F6. I'm clearly tilted out of my mind. I should not have done the things that I did. I guess none of the things I would have done mattered, right? Because if I drew a card, I still would have gotten... Still would have gotten dacked. If I had once upon a time, I still would have gotten dacked. So I guess it's fine. I guess it didn't matter. Uh, you're right. You can't replay the cantrip because it's just you can't cast. Opponent found a preordain, which does nothing. All right, so I can still draw on their turn. Ooh, that is a super good draw. That is a super good draw. If opponent doesn't have a force of will, that is a great draw. That is a very, very good draw. Oh, come on. Really? Holy shit. Maybe I'm supposed to use a Horizon Canopy and hold open this Bajuka Bog to eat. I probably should have done that. Yeah, this is game one. I'm like... I'm pretty tilted right now. Because opponent, theoretically, when you play a prelate on one, they can't do anything, and they have to try to natural draw their way into a Monastery Mentor. And they just had the Monastery Mentor. Uh, I mean, they have to get a Dak Emblem, but yeah, they could steal it with Pyro. I guess. They can't cast Pyro because we have a prelate. So, no, yeah, like the only card that really mattered in their whole deck was Mentor, and they found it. So, I mean, currently, they're not casting enough spells where they can get through, but... All right, so this time, we actually will draw a card. That's not a bad one. Not a bad one. Cradle. Bad. Yeah, I mean, this game is not over. I think theoretically we can win, but it's gonna be hard. <laughs> well, when the monks are two twos, I do get to eat one every time. We do have the Bajuka bot. We do have the one black source to use as a death right shaman, so. There's that. We do have a tabernacle. That would help, yeah. We might win. We might, we might be able to win this deck. They have, they have a lot of mana, and we have to pay for our own things, but we do have a Gaia's Cradle. Yeah, maybe we just get a Tabernacle. All right, maybe I'm complaining too much. Maybe maybe I'm complaining a little bit too much. I'm sorry, chat. I should have... Uh, I should be complaining slightly less than I am. But everyone knows we're here to hear complaining, right? So. Okay. Okay. Green Sun Zenith. What does that get me? I am definitely less dead than I originally thought. Um, we probably just want a Ramanop Excavator, I would assume. Maybe we want a boar. I don't really think a boar does that much. I mean, we're going to get a Tabernacle off of this Elvish Reclaimer. Oh, actually, they have a... They don't have a Lavinia in play. Can't answer any of my threats. Well, they can counter this. So they have Force of Will and Force of Negation, so they can definitely counter this. Yeah, but what am I getting? Am I going to get a Knight of the Reliquary? Am I going to get a Ramanap Excavator? Probably a Ramanap Excavator, I would assume. X is currently two. Oh, I have a Thalia in play. Uh, yeah. 
Huh. I don't know if I want to do that because I want to be able to get a tabernacle this turn. Well, if I do the tabernacle play, if I do the tabernacle first and then buy back, I don't want to buy back the Bajuka Bog. That doesn't seem very good. Titania isn't a bad idea. It cost me how much to Titania? All right, fuck it, Yola. Let's get a Titania. No, that's still only four. I can't get Titania this turn. I can't get Titania this turn. I need to be able to reclaim her this turn. Buy back Cradle. I guess I could do that. Well, this has to resolve first, so all right. Well, let's let's cast this first and get a reclaim uh, a reclaimer. Wait, I don't want four. I want it for it to be for three. Oh, this is too much work. All right, they have a force. They have a force. All right. Okay. So I think I'm supposed to get one of these savannas away to start because I need this cradle to pay for my tabernacle. I don't know. Whatever. I'm doing it. All right, this is where we're at in life. Opponent can't play one mana spells still. What a weird game of magic. Oh, they lost the Dread Horde, played a land so they can play Force. We lose... Oh, we still lose these cards. I don't think I can do about that, I don't think. I didn't think about that. All right, so I just use this cradle to pay for these things. Strip mine? Okay. Uh, does it matter? Probably not. I do need to draw the other thing. Raw, yo, what is up, Mr. Kozen? Appreciate the Prime sub. You're a powerful wizard. Hope you enjoy the emotes. We have more emotes coming in the future. Kim is making four currently. We got a ton of new, ton of new ones when we unlocked partner. So we got a bunch more emotes coming too. All right, this is a weird game. All right, can I F6 through these things? Maybe we want a collector, oof. Should I be attacking? No, Thalia is currently holding my opponent back because it is a 2-1 first striker. Uh, so we don't want to be attacking. They're making me discard random cards, which is fair, I guess. So now, do we want to turn the savanna into another strip mine or like another like a wasteland, or do we want to drain them for some life? Probably want another wasteland, right? Well, we can't play spells if we do that, so let's just drain. All right, we drew a wasteland. Perfect. Keep whittling down their mana. I think next turn we'll definitely go get another wasteland. I don't think a Dak emblem matters at all because they can't cast Pyroblast. So it doesn't matter. 
Nope, because they can't cast spells that cost one currently. So we're not afraid of Dak Emblem. They did draw a land here, though. What a weird game. I almost accidentally... Uh, should, I, I think I'm going to eat again because they drew a land. If they hadn't drawn a land, I think I would have done something else. What a weird game of Magic. This is a very interesting game of Magic. I did not expect to play this game of Magic, but here we are. Sanctum Prelate on one is a huge deal. Yeah, I think they should have attacked earlier, for sure, for sure. I definitely think so. Uh, this is a fine draw, we'll play that. It still gets paid by our Cradle, so no big deal. I mean, the minute opponent finds... It's tough because they're paying for so many... Oh, they're just giving up. They've given up, chat. Now, I don't think they have to give up in this situation. And the reason being is I think they should be able to spin... I mean, they have a lot of one-drops in their deck. They might be able to spin a gush play. Maybe not. They might actually be dead from this spot. You have to, like, gush into two zero drops, I think. Or, like, gush into a new Dak fade in. I, I think there are outs. I don't think opponent needs to concede yet, um, but it is a hard spot. It is a hard spot. Like, you don't have to have all of these monks. You can keep, like... It's tough. We have a lot of creatures in play. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's, maybe it's impossible for opponent to come out from that. I'm not 100% sure. All right, should we, should we change up our board plan? Should we not board in Deafening Silence? Should we instead try to play, like, Graft Digger's Cage or Surgical or something? I feel like we don't want to shut off our own green sun zenith, you know? But they are on they are on triple Lavinia, triple Dreadhorde Arcanist, four Swords to Plowshares, two Containment Priest. I feel like maybe we are supposed to bring in Cage. Like, we don't need Collector Oof, right? We do, I mean, maybe we do need Tabernacle. We, we were thinking about boarding out Tabernacle, but maybe we do need Tabernacle. You think Deafening Silence is that good, though? I'm not even sure Deafening Silence is that good versus Xerox. Right? I'm not even sure Deafening Silence is that good versus Xerox. I'm, I might not even board in any. I might just leave all the cards we currently have and just... I, I don't even think Deafening Silence is that good versus Xerox. I might just leave in this full board plan. Like, are there any cards that are bad? Like, Knight of Autumn is pretty bad, but it's still a 4-3 beater. Yeah, I mean, we're very likely to be wastelanding a lot of the time in this matchup, right? Normally, I would think siding out Oof makes sense, but I just don't think this card is, like, good enough. I, it's more for, like, Doomsday and P.O. and those kind of decks. I mean, I think the, the Knight is kind of bad, but at least it attacks. We might need to keep all our creatures in because they have five removal spells post-board, right? All right, let's try running, let's try running back the, the same 60. I'm going to try running back the same 60 this time. I wish I had the fourth prelate in the board, but so be it. Yeah, I mean, I think if they have an Ancestral, they're going to win anyways, right? Like, I, I don't know if we beat an Ancestral. You know, that's the problem. I, I really just don't know if it's worth trying to, like, think about that scenario. Everyone's memeing me on Twitter saying that I'm just going to play P.O. this weekend. I'm not playing P.O. this weekend. So bad. I'm playing Boggles. <laughs> God. I guess that's that's that is that is pretty fair, Dave. That's pretty fair. Pretty fair. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Not the strongest of draws. What, should we put this back? Should we put this back? Like, is this is like is this not strong enough that we need to put it back and look for like cavern? You know, I feel like it's possible that we should just put this hand back. All 
Like, this is one of our weakest cards. This card is only okay based on what kind of mana we have. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. All right, whatever. I'm, I'm in. It also can find fast mana. Yeah, I mean, we have a Caracas to protect our Thalia, technically. I, I'm just like, I'm a little worried. Yo, what up, Akash? How are you? How, how, how are you doing? How is your pandemic life? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm a little buzz from this drink. I know it was one drink, but it was like five drinks. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna power through here. Elvish Reclaimer. You're alive. That's good. That's an accomplishment. Proud of you. <laughs> Did they double bottom? They top topped no no opponent no opponent ever bottom bottoms a preordain on my stream stop that now stop that right now that's not allowed to happen <laughs> okay that draws pretty good actually that draws pretty good actually because now, now I have uh, a, a Thalia that can't die to Lightning Bolt or Swords. I guess I should just attack with this thing. Get in there. Oh, shit. I should not have done that. They could totally have Containment Priest me. All right. That was a bad play. Never do that. Never do that again. I should not have attacked there. That was a disrespectful attack. I showed my opponent no respects. Not a single respect was had. All right, where are we now? Where are we now? Where are we now? All right, this land. So I have a bunch of options. Oh, no, you only like no respect plays when you understand before making them that they are no respect plays. When I just blindly attack in not thinking, that's not a good no respect plays. Do I think they brought in Priest? I would. I would. Just as a 2-2 and stopping uh, Green Sun Zenith? I would. Do I think they did it? I'm not sure. Obviously, that's up to them. Uh, here, I'm going to play Scavenging Ooze. I'm going to hold up Krakus still, I think. So I'm going to play Scavenging Ooze, and we'll hold up one activation and one Krakus. And if we really want to, we could activate Reclaimer or cast Once Upon a Time. Well, we can't cast Once Upon a Time because of Thalia. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't feel good about where we're at in life. See? No respect attack. I just one turn too early. <laughs> one turn early enough. Uh, fair, fair. The no respect attack was really bad, Jad. It was so bad. Fetch land in response to blue mana. Interesting. Is the deck fade in then? Oh, come on. Can we stop? This card is so hard for me to beat. I don't have any swords in my deck. That card is such a challenge. For me. Oh, we, they are tapped out of mana now. So theoretically, we could resolve a prelate if we find one. Unfortunately, I can't cast Once Upon a Time because of Thalia. Should we get a Gaia's Cradle? Maybe we should get a Gaia's Cradle and then tab them. Kind of sounds lit, to be honest. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I kind of fucking love it. So I need two mana for this. Should I look for that? Uh, what, what was I looking for? I was looking for something. What did I want? 
I wanted something. Oh, prelate. I wanted a prelate. Yeah, let's three mana. You can still cast prelate. It's uncounterable. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is good. I hit a Knight of the Relic where I hit the Tabernacle. Okay. Should I take the Tabernacle now? What does that do for me? Yes. I mean, it saves me two mana, and I can use it as a Reclaimer activation, probably. Or I can activate Scavenging Ooze. I mean, this plan seems reasonable. Like, opponent's paying two mana here. We start finding wastelands. I mean, it's this is a, this might be a winning line. I can knight of the autumn the pearl. Wait, this is cool. This is fun. This isn't blue spells, but this is kind of fun. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, well, the first thing we need to do end of turn is get a wasteland. But we should eat as well because opponent can't cast a swords here anyways. So I want to just eat their preordain. And then we're going to turn the savanna into a wasteland. They, they they said no. They said no. C call it off. They've seen it before. They've seen it before. They don't want it happen again. Uh. Oh my lord. This is fun. What card was MVP of this game? It has to be the Reclaimer, right? It has it has to be the Reclaimer, right? The one Reclaimer looked really good here. It has like, maybe the Reclaimer. I feel like the Reclaimer looked good. I mean, maybe the tap, maybe the Gaia's Cradle. What, what, the Gaia's Cradle. I I wasn't super thrilled with the Gaia's Cradle when I had it in the beginning of this brew, but it's been good. Yeah, there's a there's definitely. There's definitely a different build, right? There's definitely a different build where you can play more Reclaimers and maybe you're focusing like a Dark Depths or something. I mean, Thalia, yeah, maybe. I thought, did we even, we didn't play turn one Thalia. We played turn one Reclaimer. I think these green cards are like, I think this is, there's something here. There's definitely something here. Awesome. Wait, uh, is this uh is that Luca? I'm glad you're having fun. Um, did you join the Vintage Discord as well? Link should be in chat. Uh, there's a lot of people there, so they'll definitely be able to help you. Uh, that link is in chat. Uh, yeah, we have like 880 people in the Vintage Discord, uh, streaming Discord, anyways. Um, yeah, I wouldn't concede here, Luca. I mean. Even ah, it's tough. It's tough. It's a, but you can draw into swords and stuff still because I don't have, I don't have a pre laid out this game. I would can I would keep playing this game. Like you don't have to keep the monk in play. You you don't even have to keep the containment priest in in, in play. Like theoretically, you could just keep the mentor in play and hope to draw like uh, ancestral recall into swords and and and, and bolt and stuff like that. Like it, it's a tough. It's a tough. It's a tough spot. It's a tough spot for sure. Um, I think in game one, it was going to be pretty hard for you to win. There were some places where you could have attacked earlier and lost like a monk to Athalia, but you gotten in some damage. So, I mean, there was definitely places that could have been in, uh, improved a little bit, but it's just a new, new, new vintage tournament, right? Uh, so that was two games, two games, Met result. Can you confirm that result? In oh, already confirmed. Wait. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't know. This matchup's weird. Obviously, like my deck is not a real deck, so I don't know exactly. I'm, you know, I'm learning here with you. 
<laughs> Fucking slasher farming people with Jess guy. Classic. Classic. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I'm 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 pretty new to melee, uh MTG melee. I think I've only played one event on it before, as I am mostly an MTGO boomer. Uh, so this is a this is a Matt Murray deck. So like obviously some thought went into it. Um I just made some small changes to what I thought would be fun for tonight and things that I thought were might possibly be good. Um I, theoretically, when you play Fourth Alia, you do want to play more Moxin, but the rest of this deck is pretty color intensive, so I'm not 100% sure, um, Kosen. I think this list is quite good. I do think that Matt, Matt put some work into it, and I think there's like something going on here. I don't know if this is exactly the way that I would build it in the future, but I like a lot of what's happening. Um, Petal seems reasonable. I think I do want, like, a bayou in the deck. I think a bayou over a savanna is probably fine. Or over a wasteland. Um I know we we have Elvis Spirit Guides, and you can find Elvis Spirit Guides off of Once Upon a Time, which make them better than Moxin a lot of the time. So it, it's not like we don't have some Moxin. Like we we are instead of playing Moxin and Petals, we have Elvis Spirit Guide. I guess uh, Spirit Guide is definitely better than a Petal, right? So maybe we would play more spirit guides, possibly. I'm not sure. It's weird because you're you're heavily teched into white for these cards, but you're you're heavily teched into white because these cards are very good. Um, like these these cards are 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 incredibly strong, especially off of cavern in basically every 2020 vintage meta game. So, I mean that's that's the reason you're doing that. Like the green is a little bit more to supplement the white more than anything else. Um. All right, I want to use restroom real quick, and we'll be right back. And then there's currently two matches remaining. No more mudslides. That was all that. 